What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We're back with another reaction and this one is a bit different and I'm known for saying that now, a bit different. But I just, I do say it because this is something that's not what I usually react to. But it's the craziest moments in sports history. So I assume this is all sports in general. Maybe it's just American sports. I'm not 100% sure, but I've done a few videos kind of like this, but not the same sort of subject. And I think they're quite fun to see. They're like, again, like, they're like, they're not this, like the the... the same kind of video like it's just random clips that i may not have seen and i love seeing that because like i've done before i've reacted to all four main of the like the four main american sports but i'm now seeing like nascar i want to start doing maybe ufc and like boxing which aren't necessarily american sports but like they are like known from starting in the us i'm pretty sure but yeah man i know it's a bit different but hopefully you guys enjoy because these kinds of videos do like interest me really but I'm just, I'm excited to see this. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like. But yeah, man, let's see what it's about. And from the start, it says this video will not be showing any injuries or tragedies, which is good. Because I wanted this to be like a sort of, maybe like, maybe not like a light video, but a sort of like, like a video that doesn't have like loads of downs and sad moments, if you get what I mean. But yeah, let's just get into it. I'm really interested in what's going to be in it. Because there's so many different yeah, sports. So we're starting basketball. Oh, oh, this is the Shaq moment, of course. This moment still blows my mind, man. I don't even understand how he's done that. Like, dude, he's just a massive guy, to be honest. He literally broke it off. This guy, man. Do you reckon he could do that nowadays with how, like, the... the baskets are made now? Do you reckon they're made so, like... The technology nowadays would just not allow that. So I assume maybe he could, but I don't Because it hasn't happened in recent times, so maybe he couldn't. I'm just glad he wasn't hurt that time. I mean, that thing came straight down. He looks so he young at that point as well. Oh, they broke off right on the, on the fans there, on the hands there. Unbelievable. Oh, man. He's done it in Phoenix. He's done it the biggest media market. The fans are loving it, though. They must have been shocked. Unbelievable. There was a foul. Too, but that's sort of incidental. Well, if the foul is on Dwayne's, so he'll get. But the problem is now, this is going to be another one of those 30, 40 minute delays, and we have to get a plane, get back to Orlando. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. The microphones, all of the electronic equipment has been ripped apart. <laughs> he, he, he absolutely wrecked it. He didn't just break it, he completely smashed it up from that just from hanging for like an extra second but that yeah that's what i'm thinking like that could wow still wouldn't be out the way the the news report just says wow that just fits it perfectly man but that is wow i don't know why i find that funny so this is just normal baseball so it's not even like mlb i don't think Oh, lightning, yeah. There's a plane coming down onto oh. the field, folks, right now. Not lightning, so a plane? Going on. Here it comes, right onto the field, right behind the field. Oh, my God. And it's on fire. Yeah, they're no. still playing football. Or oh, soccer, sorry. What the hell? Dude, those... They just continued playing. Folks, right now. we got a crazy off. landing going on. Here it comes, right onto the field, right behind the field. Flipping it's hey. on fire. No way did that, that is happen, awesome. folks. Yo, I was not expecting this sort of stuff at all. This is madness. And everybody running over there now to see if they can help somebody. My goodness. Yeah, be careful because we saw some flames go up. You don't want that thing to blow up over there. What a crazy event, folks. We're so used to seeing the planes here. So it didn't seem like much, and then it just got real close. Oh, boy. Hopefully that... They're like, and where's Clay Johnson? Did I say at the start, there was no casualties. I'm going to go back to say 312. Well, this is a tragedy. I hope no, nothing, no one got injured then. Like, not injured, sorry. No one, like, lost their life. Is that trying to get awful? a better look over that part of the fence. You look how shocked they look. I can't Obviously, believe what we just saw here, folks. Yeah. 
That was mad. That is the bro. Allowing Jose Canseco to score, and he fails to get Dave Parker at second base. So the what? Wait, is there like a storm? Earthquake. Oh my days. Bloody hell. The US is different, man. You don't, you don't get this. You would never get anything like this in the UK. Like, earthquakes barely even happen. Like, you wouldn't get planes. I mean, you probably, maybe you would. But just stuff like this is crazy. I, I say I love it. It's obviously, like, not a good thing to see. But it's like, it just shows, like, the sort of levels that they play through. It's actually an earthquake. You can hear the fans screaming for their lives, probably. I guess Dave Parker. Well, I don't know if we're on the air or not, and I'm not sure I care at this moment, but we are. Well, folks, that's the greatest open in the history of television, bar none. <laughs> yes, it certainly did. We're still here. Jeez. We are still, as we can tell. I've never even experienced an earthquake in my life. Up the next play, then on first Jesus, and ten with man. Tony Galbraith through a 48-yard pass. Pass, pass to Chandler. Which was his second. An explosive device just went off on the sidelines to the right of the New Orleans bench. And that shook everybody up on the New Orleans side. Do you looking? There it is. What Whatever that was, it's about as funny as a broken leg. And that shook everyone up. Boy, that was not just some little firecracker. And the police, boy, I'll tell you what, the, they are now searching that person's jacket. Right. And they're now asking the man to stand up, and they will search him some more. You could, you could feel... What even was that? You see that area on the field, that's where the explosive device, whatever it was, landed and exploded. That's Jeez, really man, that must have been scary. Oh, I've seen this one. Well, this is one of the maddest things I've ever seen. So... Is it a parachuter? Someone is still... And somebody in a parachute has just... And then the crowd starts beating him up. I'm like, wait, what? ...has been pulled away by security guards. The fight has been brought to a halt. There's a massive melee at ringside. Mate, that must have been so nerve-wracking. He's in the midst of a mass of security guards now. Rock Newman, Riddick Bowe's manager, was right there. This is a monumental... Disaster. That must be insane when you're there, though, man. Like, imagine Police seeing that just fall on you, bro. Me ...at ringside and grabbing this gentleman who has created a monstrosity of an interruption in the bout. His parachute... Wasn't that like a really big fight as well? I'm probably going to annoy people because there's obviously boxing purists out there. From my knowledge, I, I swear that's like a, it's like a Van der Holyfield or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably just Has rubbish. On a row of ring lights. But yo. Now we're going to take a look at an earlier shot of the parachutist earlier this evening. Oh, mad. From our blimp coverage. So we actually meant to do it. Okay, then that's, that makes sense why they're so annoyed. As this took place, we we're told that our blimp cameraman tried to alert us to the possibility that this was going to happen. That's why he was zooming in and out, as you can see here. And there it is. He targeted the ring. Jeez. And came right down. <laughs> what an idiot. Well, this guy is going to wind up in the slammer in Vegas tonight, and with doggone good reason. What I wonder. Never seen it from this view. Jesus, he tried going in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my days. To get some publicity for himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Here we go with the kickoff. He'll probably try to squib it, and he does. Ball comes loose, and the Bears have to get out of bounds. Rogers along the sideline, another one. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. They tried to do a couple of. The ball is still loose as they get it to Rogers. They get it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. Oh, the band is out of the. Oh, yeah, but I was... <laughs> And he gets the touchdown, doesn't he? Oh, this was in a comment really recently. I forgot. 
This is like a really famous moment in the sport. A particular name for it. Someone caught, I remember reading it like about a few days ago. Someone commented, oh no. Because I've seen this before. And I was like, wait, what the hell's happened here? Oh, it's, it's, it is something you guys would say in the comments. What it like the what this is known as, basically. Oh, I forgot what it is. Oh, like, but this is an insane moment, but imagine even doing that. A touchdown with band on the on the field, bro. And they've won it. The fact that they counted was mind blowing. But I love it. I genuinely love the fact that they allowed that to count. Listen to the commentator, bro. Thrilling finish in the history of college football. Jeez. <laughs> he is going mental. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that a bird? Bro. <laughs> wait. Jesus, what's a bird doing there? I remember someone saying this before. And I was, I was gonna see this. I just completely forgot about it. That is crazy. <laughs> I am mind blown right now. What are the crowd doing? Oh my god! Bro, that would be so scary. Yo, this video was next level, bro. Well, I'm hoping from what, what you said at the start, no one like lost their lives. I hope that's the case. But yo, videos like this are actually so fun to watch because they're just different. But it's just like, it shows you like, because the US is a massive country. Obviously in certain places, there's certain weather conditions. Like I know, isn't it Florida's known for its storms? Like I feel, I swear it's the most, the place with the most thunderstorms in the world or something like that. And it's just like places like that. There's so many different spots in the US. It's just like, you're going to see these kinds of things, whether it's weather conditions or just earthquakes, which I guess is still seen as a weather condition. Or not even weather to do stuff to do with weather, just like the other clips that I saw in here, really. It's just, it's fun to see the differences because in the UK, man, I think I've already said this in the video already, but you would never get any weather things like this before. It's just the most boring place for weather. There's never any lightning storms. It's just rainy. There's not even snow. It's just cold. It's never even that hot. It's just humid. And yo, you've just got all this stuff. But yo, it makes for some pretty interesting sports moments. And yo, I'm, I'm sure there's more things like this. And if there is, let me know in the comments because I'd love to see them. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe and peace.